So how important is uh, environment in all of this? Because obviously we go into classrooms now, there's whiteboards or there's um, a lot of screen-based stuff, there's iPads, there's everything screen-based. Um, how important is the environment? It's massively important. So we know that if you do have issues with your visual processing, if there's just too much stimulation, sometimes you can just shut off completely. So an ideal environment is with minimal peripheral clutter so that you can be sure that when you're trying to engage a child with a task, they're sensorily engaged with that task rather than with all the other things that are going on around them in the classroom, which obviously can be a challenge when you're, you've got a class full of kids. But um, it's obviously really important in terms of the environment that things are set up at a level that they're able to access. So one of my simple rules is to keep things where you know a child has a visual impairment, big, bold and bright. So keeping things large, high contrast and bright and not having too much other stuff, too much visual clutter going on in the background. Sometimes children, it's for each individual it can be different. So some children might really struggle with moving targets and almost lose the ability to, to, to identify something or observe it when it's in motion. Other children may really have difficulty as soon as things get low contrast. So we get lots of information back from schools and we try to convey that in a report so that it goes with a child when they change classes and things. But it is about each individual and understanding their abilities and limitations visually. So one other aspect of the environment is obviously the, the actual ambient light level, mm. you know, the kind of like what's coming through the window. Um, yeah. how, how does that um, affect what someone can see? It can massively affect things. So you want lighting that is even, where you haven't got too much glare. So windows is a really good example, where particularly when there are screen-based activities and things, reflections from a window can be really off-putting and really reduce the level of resolution that a child can access. Um, strip lighting, sometimes children can detect the flicker from a strip light, so that's not always great. Um, so having good even lighting and good task lighting without glare sources is absolutely vital.